Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now early April. Yesterday I managed to get the rest of the tanking finished. So all of our meadows are fertilised. They've all been rolled and today they've started to grow through. You can see the patches where we missed before and that's all good. And it also looks like... Oh, my leg's stuck on the fence. Um where I thought we had a patch missing, we do. So uh, at some point I'm going to have to come back in here with the seed and I have to get some uh, grass seed in the ground there. And uh, we'll let that all grow and catch up with the rest of it. Now today I've got a slightly different plan because everything else on the farm is, is fine. Our cows are being fed. They're producing... Plenty of milk, already back up to nearly 13,000 litres of milk. We've got manure, we've got slurry. Chickens are fine. Bees are producing us honey as well. Our crops are still waiting to, uh, to grow. I have a little hop over this fence. As you can see, it's all, it's all coming along nicely. It's all going very good. So, I'm going to go into... Not the uh, not the silage for now. I don't even think that's ready yet. We uh, have a little. Uh, there it is. Still only sixty-seven percent. I'm sure that's uh, that's not fermented any further than from before. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But yeah, we're not going to be worrying about silage anyway. What I want to do is go out and find ourselves. New plot of land, if I can remember where I've put my tractors. <laughs> I'm going to go get a new plot of land and uh, look into get some greenhouses down. Seriously, where have I parked my tractors? It's right, they haven't been stolen. <laughs> they were up this end of the farm. I never put them up here. That really confused me. Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll jump in the John Deere. We'll take her out for today. And uh, now, I have had a little look at the prices, and there is a little field down, I think I've mentioned it before, it's the one that we uh, accidentally planted the wrong crop in on a contract. So I want to head down there and see if it's going to work for some greenhouses. It's not completely flat, if I remember right. And the access isn't the easiest, but we can always uh, we can always adjust stuff like that. We can change it to our to our needs, to our will. Now the field in question is field uh, 109, which is just right down the bottom here. But I think we get access to it, if I recall, by uh, going around these ones. I think it's the one that's got the lime in over there. That's the one we go and have a look at. Very nice down here. I like this end of the f <laughs> end of Maypole. I think it's uh, very nice. I know they're a little bit square. But I just think I just think it looks nice here. Same as over on that side of the road as well. It's all it's very very square over there as well, but it always looks good when you drive down. So yeah, it's not a massive field as you can see. But I think, if I remember rightly, when I was looking at it, the uh, the land price is I think about eight percent off as well. So it's quite cheap. So it is 1.74 uh, acres. And they're currently asking 10 grand an acre. Which isn't too bad. Now, like I say, that's the uh, access. But over here, where we've got this... Um, is there a restaurant over here? If I just uh, jump over Got a cell point. It is a restaurant, isn't it? 
something of that that ilk anyway but it's got the uh, access from the main road and I'm sure if we have a word with them spend a little bit of money extend the tarmac or well, the concrete right through we take out the bush give ourselves access to the field from here and I reckon we get quite a lot of uh, greenhouses on here or you know four maybe five big ones four big ones would be a good start and if this goes well we can uh, take out this this hedge and look to buy uh, fields what's this uh, 110 that's uh, 109 field 110 and we can <laughs> go crazy go crazy with it so uh, let's just have a little look at the actual price and the size. So in comparison to our our farm, which is up here, obviously, um, we're looking at this one down here, 109, and it's 8.6% uh, off and uh, 16 grand. That's all that's going to cost. So uh, I'm going to buy that, and we're not going to have to worry about losing a crop or waiting for a crop because it's an empty field. It's just full of weeds. So we'll do that. And then if we do decide to uh, expand even further, depending on how things go, field 110, I mean, it's currently got, you know, 8.6% off as well. But that is uh, 31 grand. So we'd probably be looking at, what, 35, 36 grand. So that wouldn't be too bad at full price. Now, there's a, a few others as well around here that I, I did have a little look at. They're quite expensive, like plus 66%, but they are big chunks of a field. Now, 97 is a big field. It's got it's thirty percent off. I I did consider that, but that is to be fair a part of this farm, and uh, I I'd, I'd, I'd feel a bit rude constantly driving through their farm to get to that. We'd have to work some sort of access. I think not sure if they'd be too pleased about that. So anyway, we've got our field. Let's see what we can do with it. Now I am not a master of the. Uh, <laughs> Of the tools here, so uh, let's see if I can work out how to do all this stuff. I forgot to put my info box on. There we go. Make that stronger. Is that the one I want? To be fair, this is to smooth, isn't it? So I'm thinking that's probably what I want. I want to smoothen it out, but it wants to be maybe a bit smaller actually. Not really sure if I'm doing anything. What's the trouble? I don't want to mess up the other person's land. Perhaps we'll go smaller. I could try, since that's going to be my... Oh, yeah. Going to be my way in. Be sort of smoothing it out to that height. That makes sense. I'm going to give that a crack. I'm not going to talk all the way through this, so I can speed it up. But that's what I'm going to try and do. So, uh... Watch me mess this up. Okay, so as you can see, I have great difficulty with this. I don't know how you get a nice smooth edge on it. It's, it's just not like it used to be. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I'm going to have to do some more with that. But I needed it level with the point that we're going to enter. Because if not, I'm just going to have jaggy <laughs> edges everywhere. I wanted this to be pretty flat. Um, I'm going to try and put the greenhouses along this end. Um, anything, you know, we could maybe get some water, a little bit of storage, some decoration going down this side, or maybe some greenhouses going down there as well. We'll see how the money goes. But we need to get rid of these stumps. Or maybe just the one stump. I think we'll take out another one. Where's the other one? Is there one in this bit? Take this. Thank you very much.
Uh, might put a gate in. If I can. I'll make this nice. It's still not all that level, but it's... I'd say it's better than nothing, but I'm not certain that it is. That's horrible. We're going to have to try and smooth that out as well. So, uh, I'll have to jump back into my tools and uh, see what I can do about that. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better for an entrance. A little bit sharp here still. <laughs> but now, if if you know what I'm doing wrong, people, let me know. Um, I've, I don't feel like it makes much difference if I go for a light or a strong intensity. I mean, because it's so sharp, I had to smoothen it down, so that means I lose this area of uh, the land that I wanted to work with, like going right up to the edge. So any tips anyone can give me for going forwards with the landscaping tool in 22? Oh, I'm, I'm open. I'm, <laughs> I'm all ears. Let me know. All right, let's get some uh, greenhouses put down. Now, I was thinking about the hydroponics. That's 10 grand. Uh, you have to uh, add water and liquid fertilizer to it. I should imagine they'll produce quite well. If I place them at the back, that might, well it will, it'll bring bring the land up hopefully. But I've also got this one. This is nine grand, but this one requires water, manure, uh, seeds, and, uh, and or fertilizer. So, I might go with this, just because we've got a lot of manure. I think our slurry is going to be more than enough for us, uh, for doing our farm. And this is then going to give us something else that we can do and uh, sort of bring into it. Now, might go. We go one here. If I put it in line, sort of with that bush. Getting this right is uh, not going to be so anal. Right, I don't want it sinking into the ground. That's going to be my point. We go with the first one, and hopefully, spin it around a bit. We put another one almost directly in line because I've not got that good of eye. We put that one there. Plenty of room to get water down there. There we are. That's not bad. I don't think that's too bad. Now. Oh, see, it's not. I've tried to smoothen that out and it's just not smooth. It's so annoying. That's going to have that step down again. So if I... Oh, that's going to piss me off so much. Okay, so let's try again. <laughs> yes, we'll probably get ourselves a little... Um, pallet truck or skid loader or something. So we can get down here and uh, pick up pallets. I'm going to try and do it so we uh, have the pallets to start with. We'll see how that goes. Do another one there. Try and have this one in line again. And uh, they're going to be the uh, the big uh, five times pallets, so they're going to going to fill up quite or well, quite slowly. But they're going to be worth a lot when it comes to selling them. I think six will do us for now. Six is actually quite a lot <laughs> for me. For me building something, that's that's a lot. So let's try and uh, make it look pretty for a bit. Okay, so I think for a, for a start up for our, our greenhouse and our fruits uh, enterprise, I don't think this is too bad. So I think this is 
guessing this is sort of partly where the triggers are. You'll see, this is where everything's going to spawn. So where we uh, unload our goods, <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. I've spent all this money on it. <laughs> I'll find out how it work. Obviously, we fill the water up there. And uh, hopefully we just bring the manure down and stuff like that. I think this is this is all right. Um, dump a load of grass down just so it look nicer as I come <laughs> come about. But we we will we'll probably expand all the way along. I'm gonna have to get probably I think uh, some sort of uh, water container here. Store a lot of water and. Um, Maybe even a um, manure pit, so we can uh, store manure. Don't have to be carting it all the time, but we can do like a big load, cart it up here, and leave it. And then we can just sort of be popping it in. And I think this could even be home for the Massey. If we get another tractor eventually to replace that Massey, this can where the Massey can come and work. Moving pallets, manure, that sort of thing. Bit of, bit of water tanking. But yeah, this is our greenhouse. We've got six greenhouses. And um, we're going to have to uh, look into how they, uh, how they get working. I want seeds, don't I? Yeah, I think that's just going to be a case of bringing the seeds, the manure, and um, getting it all going good. Right. Let's, uh, let's go get some seeds. Now, I wasn't sure how much seed we were going to need. So I've uh, gone crazy. <laughs> I've got eight big, eight big bags. We're going to have to put some sort of uh, storage shed down here. But I wanted to do that anyway. Um, also got the massive following up behind. And uh, I've managed to find a much larger liquid tanker. Um, with the fixed bar at the front. Um, so I've purchased that. It's cost thirty-four grand. That did, um, but I might buy a second one uh, for milk. So we'll keep this one up here for water, and we'll put down some sort of plumbed water source. And uh, yeah, we'll have another one for running milk. Just park up here, and I guess what I'm going to need to do is uh, put down that water source so we can fill our tank. So let's go back into our beautiful <laughs> landscaping tool. Oh wow, we could have a full-blown water tower. I am well up for a big old water tower. I think we might have to do that. If I put it that way... Should be able to back up onto it. Put that down. This is going to be quite... That just cost 20 grand as well. I'm just spl splashing the cash. Just make this a little bit bigger. We've got like the little area that will come backing up on into it. It hasn't got to be perfect. I don't want them to look perfect. I know we've got some quite straight lines already, but that's that's not really what I'm going for. There we go. And that's what we can fill from. This is uh, <laughs> quite an expensive operation here. No, I think this could be our shed. It's not overly expensive. I think it'll fit in. Sort of with the style, more than anything. Um, let's hope it brings the land up to where I want it to come. i put that about there. We'll uh, just go to here, just to check. Oh yeah, that's alright. I think... Off screen, I'll do some tidying up of uh, bits and bobs. So here it is. They've got the uh, our new shed up. It's quite nice actually. I like that. Even got a little platform where we could have put some bales or something if we needed them. So let's see <laughs> if I can. I've, I brought pallet f um, forks for this as well. So it's like thirty-five. Another just under two grand for that. All the seed. And then now this, we're down to 165 grand. We are really hoping <laughs> that this uh, pays off somewhat. So, 
I don't think this one needs to open to fill, but we'll soon find out. And it has a large capacity. That's why it costs um, as much as it does, or as much as it did. Um, it's got like, I want to say like 24,000 litres, I think that's what it was. Because it does need to open. Oh, look at that. Nice. But that's going to be slow. So <laughs> while that's filling, we'll uh, actually have to handball some of these off. Because I don't think that'll um, continue to fill while I uh, do other things. If I take the, uh, the deer off. So we are going to have to do a little bit of um, big muscles. See if we can get this to... Oh, he's just dump it at the door. Excellent. We'll see how much seed it takes. All of it. It took all of it. So if I have a little look in production, I think it's probably the last one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they take a lot. Now, I'm not sure if these have got an increased capacity on all its fills because I've got the mod that increases production capacities. So perhaps also thus the incoming materials have an increased capacity as well as the outcome materials. That might be a thing. But I'll put a bag in uh, each um, greenhouse and then we'll look to get some water in. Okay, so I've stuck a bag in each. Um, we'll see how much water they take. I've put the other two bags in storage over there. Obviously, we're going to need them. But I'll wait until I've got more and I'll just... When I can afford to, we'll buy enough to just fill all the greenhouses up. So how much water does one greenhouse take? It's filled to 99%, by the way. So hopefully that means if we do milk, we can fill this to 99% because this is my smallest tractor. Okay, so it went to uh, down to 15%. So in my productions, so if I come back down again... This one, 20,000 litres is what that takes. You'll get six more. <laughs> six, six more refills, or five more refills. But that would have took forever doing it in um, <laughs> in sevens. It's seven and a half uh, thousand litres each time. Probably want to practice uh, my manoeuvrings to uh, get this filled. Now this is going to take forever, so uh, I am going to slow time down. I've already done it twice, just because I'm not going to run out of daylight. And uh, I'll come back to you when I'm on my last one. So we got our last one to fill, and as you can see, our heat lamps have come on. That was very cool. It's taken a while. <laughs> I've uh, extended some of this um, pavement or concrete uh, just was a bit wider so the track fits down a little bit better I think it's uh, yeah, it's looking all right I think I'd say I've seen worse setups I've definitely seen better but like I say the, the landscaping in the building for me in 22 does not do me any favors right we'll close that up try and park that in the, uh, the shed because now all that's left for them is the fertilizer they need them they won't start growing without all the um, necessary ingredients so I think it's either uh, artificial fertilizer or natural so it's getting a bit late and I don't want to be trying to <laughs> load up and do with my fertilizer in the dark so I'll probably do that tomorrow I'm just going to park this in here this is where it's going to live now this is its home it's got a weight on the front it's not going to live on the front it was just so I could transport everything over well I think that looks pretty good I don't think we can uh, grumble at that too much not a bad day's work so I want to get the John Deere and this trailer back to the farm 
So that's the John Deere and trailer brought back. Got dark real quick, although time does go real quick. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we'll uh, ferry a load of manure up there. We'll try and get a um, manure pit or manure storage or something built up there so we can store it. Uh, I've got a feeling that with the, the, <laughs> the way today went, um, they're going to take all the manure we have anyway. And uh, I may try and develop that land up there a little bit more as well. Like I said, I wouldn't, I'd like to get a gate on there so it's completely separate from the uh, restaurant. And uh, see about taking that other fence out the other side as well. See if I can make the land look a little bit nicer. But that is it for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully it's something completely different and we're doing something you know, uh, new on the farm. It's been a while since we've done something new here. So, uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos go live. And as always, comments and feedback down there. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.